What is up YouTube? Piston Slap here and today we're going to talk about cleaning and lubricating your chain. Here are some of the products from Maxima Racing Oils to help you do that. We got Clean Up, Penetrating Oil, Chain Wax, and a chain brush from a cycle shop. Here's a picture of what my chain looks like before we started. You can see it's all greasy and grimy and nasty. All sorts of nasty. So here's my bike. <clears throat> here we go. With the chain cleanup, we just spray it on the chain. Uh, we're spraying it on the top side of the chain, and then we're going to want to spray it down on the bottom side of the chain or inside. And it turns into a foam ish goo. That way, when you pull your chain brush out, it's not all dried up, it's still on there. So you just take your chain brush and run it around on the chain, pushing it inward to clean the outer links upward to clean you know get down into those links and get them good and clean what you're also going to want to do is spin it the other direction this will give those bristles and everything a chance to actually get up in the other side because as that chain passes through it's only going to clean on that one side once you got that done just flip the brush over and do the same exact procedure push down on the chain pull it out as you're pushing down push it in and pull down at the same time that way you get that chain nice and clean. You want to try to get as much as that grime and grease, dirt, nasty bug guts, rabbit guts, <clears throat> whatever it is that you got on your chain that you need cleaned off, you know, just work it back and forth, you know, and the stuff doesn't dry up. It stays in a liquid form almost the entire time. Okay, well, with this chain all nice and scrubbed down and clean, we're going to proceed to get some water and rinse the dirt and grime off. With the water, you're just going to use basically running tap water or out of a hose. You don't need a pressure washer or any super duper amount of pressure to clean this off. Just rinse it off. <clears throat> you don't want to take any chances of, you know, pushing any debris or grime or grit down into that chain. So just nice gently rinse it off, you know, work around then that's pretty much simple. Now what you're going to want to do is uh, if you have the, the ability is just to get a air chuck or something and just lightly blow off the excess water of the on the chain. You don't want to get too wild with it. If you don't have this, uh, I guess at that point what I would recommend is just let the chain dry a little bit, or drip off, maybe put it in gear and just run it and fling off a little bit. The next thing you want to do is grab your MPPL or penetrating lube and just spray it all over that chain. Get it all over lots of it. What it does is it gets down in that chain and displaces the water. That gets the water out of the links, out of the O-rings. Water is bad. That causes rust and all sorts of other problems. Let it sit for a little bit. Once you got that done, grab a rag or something and just grab a hold of that chain, spin it around, and wipe off any excess amount. Uh, the reason I say that is because if you leave it on there, this stuff is going to fling all over the place when you go to ride, and nothing looks better than crap all over your wheel and your bike. So just wipe it off, you know, get it out of there, and pretty much done. Then grab the chain wax or chain lube and just spray it on the chain. You know, start on the top. You know, the directions are on the can on how they, you know, recommend doing it. This is how I do it. Uh, spraying it on the top gets pretty much the whole top side of the chain. Then, uh, you know, obviously I made a mess, so I'm going to wipe it off. You know, got up all my chain guides and stuff like that. So once we get all that wiped down, what we're going to do is go ahead and just spray it on the bottom side of that chain. So that way we have lubrication all over the chain. With this particular bike, we're going to go ahead and just uh, cover up the muffler because I don't want chain lube all over my bike while I'm sitting at a light. It does smell great. Don't get me wrong. I love the smell of this stuff, but I don't want it all over the place. So put it on the chain where it belongs. Anyway, here we are spraying it on the bottom of the chain. It's exciting. It's fun. It's putting chain lube on the chain. But there you go. It's on. Um, they do recommend that you let it sit for about 10 minutes to to just set up. It goes on as liquid and dries kind of like a sticky wax. It's not super sticky, but it's on there. So anyway, here is a picture of what it looks like when it's done. Nice and clean, shiny, no grit, no grime. 
and it's ready to do wheelies. I don't do wheelies, but if you wanted to, you could. Uh, again, piss and slap here. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, comment, subscribe, share, hit the like button, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.